Hi guys, today we're going to do a quick quiz on physical quantities and units. We've got 20 questions, so grab a pen and a piece of paper and let's see what you know. Question number one. What is the SI base unit for mass? What is the SI base unit for mass? Number two. Distinguish between scalar and vector quantities. Distinguish between scalar and vector quantities. Question number three. What is the angle between two perpendicular vector components? What is the angle between two perpendicular vector components? Question four. What is the SI base unit for temperature? What is the SI base unit for temperature? Question five. What method can you use to check the homogeneity of physical equations? What method can you use to check the homogeneity of physical equations? Question six. What is the SI base unit combination for force? What is the SI base unit combination for force? Question seven. What prefix has the symbol M? What prefix has the symbol M? M. Number eight. Two vectors have magnitudes seven and three. What is the maximum value their vector sum could be? Two vectors have magnitude seven and three. What is the maximum value their vector sum could be? Question nine. What is the SI base unit combination for power? What is the SI base unit combination for power? Question 10. What prefix has the symbol G? What prefix has the symbol G? Number 11. What is the SI base unit for time? What is the SI base unit for time? Number 12. What is the SI base unit for length? What is the SI base unit for length? Number 13. What is the SI base unit for current? What is the SI base unit for current? Question 14. What does the abbreviation SI stand for? What does the abbreviation SI stand for? Number 15. What is the SI base unit combination for momentum? What is the SI base unit combination for momentum? Number 16. What prefix has the symbol mu? What prefix has the symbol mu? Number 17. Two vectors have magnitudes 8 and 10. What is the minimum value their vector sum could be? Two vectors have magnitudes 8 and 10. What is the minimum value their vector sum could be? Number 18. Convert 560 nanometers to meters. Convert 560 nanometers to meters. Number 19. Convert 4 teraseconds to seconds. Convert 4 teraseconds to seconds. And number 20, what is the SI base unit combination for energy? What is the SI base unit combination for energy? Okay guys, here are your answers. Number one, kilograms. Number two, scalars have magnitude, but vectors have magnitude and direction. Number three, 90 degrees. Number four, Kelvin. Number five, SI base units are the same on both sides of the equal sign. Number 6, kilogram meters per second squared. Number 7, mega. Number 8, 10. Number 9, kilogram meters squared s to the minus 3. Number 10, giga. Number 11, seconds. Number 12, meters. Number 13, amps. Number 14, system international. Number 15, kilogram meters per second. Number 16, micro. Number 17, 2. Number 18, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Number 19, 4 times 10 to the 12 seconds.
and number 20 kilograms meters squared s to the minus 2. Okay guys, how well did you do? Bye for now.